Don't entrust your future to Mr. Sell Everything, Atiku, or Mr. Stingy Ubi, as he tells his supporters. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Well, less than 50 days to the highly anticipated February 25th presidential election, the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tunubu, lambasted his rivals from the opposition parties. It will be recalled that there are four major candidates that are considered strong enough to win the forthcoming 2023 presidential election. The strong candidates include Atiku Abubakar, Asiwaji Tunubu, Mr. Peter B. and the Rabiu Pongwasu. Asiwaji Tunubu in a campaign rally that was held at Democracy Park Akure, Dundu State Capital, on Saturday described Labour Party presidential candidate Mr. Peter B. as a stingy politician that Nigeria should not make a mistake in voting him to power. For the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, the former Lagos State Governor said if Atiku Abubakar is elected as president, he will sell the country's valuable assets. If Abubakar is elected as president, he will sell the country's valuable assets to his friends. Hear him. My people, you cannot entrust your future or that of our nation to Mr. Sell Everything Atiku or Mr. Stingy Obi, but you can entrust Mr. Pro to Mr. Progressive Good Governance to Nambu. You see, eh, my problem with the El Progressive Congress, most especially, and the People Democratic Party is that do political parties, they do not know that we have left them behind a very long time ago. If you don't have anything to say other than call your position names, your ma your name the name of your position or your should I say your rivals are always on your mouth, then make I tell you, you never start. You have not even gotten the memo yet. Huh. You are rich, not stingy, and your party refused to share politics during COVID-19. What is your contribution by them? Well, that, that is very inconsequential. Sincerely, that is inconsequential. But they want them to urge them to vote for Mr. Still Everything. I only blame our orientation. Otherwise, there are some people who should speak, who should not speak in public. I, I agree with you to an extent. Nobody is a cent among them. According to a passenger, so therefore all of them native. <laughs> My goodness. Still everything, including the country, to his family. I pity this country. Imagine this kind of ignorant talk. A person that wants to be a country president is vomiting from his mouth like kindergarten children. And I'm telling us, I've said it, people who come and do not have anything to offer will keep telling you things like this. Or let's ask yourself, why is Turnbull not using this opportunity to sell himself? We are having less than 50 days to election. Everybody's supposed to be double in Hosea by now, you know. Everybody's supposed to be saying, okay, you know. But what exactly is the problem? What exactly is the problem? My brother Itayao, you will see his person voting for him. And Atiku has been exposing himself since yesterday morning. Does it mean that this old man does not have manifesto or he just came to insult his opponents? The same question I keep always asking whenever I hear such. This is part of politics. Are you deaf when he's been insulted as well? Guess it and chug it before you open your mouth. Who insulted him? You can talk to P you can say PDP. But does it now mean that that's the only thing he would do? Since he wrote his manifesto, I don't think he has even been asked any question about the manifesto. Ha! Huh. Hmm, I can see it has come and coming from my papa Philip. Tell that your big head candidate to go back home to Anambra. We examined the blunder he made. His state governor testified. Imagine he did nothing in a smaller state, top more of Nigeria. It's Jagaban we know in the northwest. Now you Sabio. Mr. Senabu, tell Nigeria what you want to do and stop attacking your position. This old man. I'm telling you. Nigerian so. At the end of the day, let us do the needful. Hmm. Let us do the needful. Let us do the right thing. Let us don't be too... Um, should I say, let us not be too, um, how do I put it? Let us not be sentimental in picking somebody who we are going to be voting for. It is going to be a calamity. I've been saying it. I think we will sell everything, will be stingy and will not allow waste and stealing government, but Tulumbo will loot everything. 
produce the best. So we rather vote Mr. Jihad Muslim Muslim Islamation of Nigeria. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, let me tell you people, Sha. Like I first given an info. This election, I've been saying it. It's not like it's even a, it's even news. I've been saying that this election is a model for election. Meaning, if this election pass, before we go say an election like this, it go take. And this election is going to be a determinant to a whole lot of things. Nigerians, make we do the needful. Nigerians, make we vote wisely. Nigerians, now we, now the thing will affect you. I keep saying that everybody go feed Jaguar. It is not every one of us that will be able to run and leave this country. And perhaps if we even leave this country, who will come and develop her? That's another good question. If you leave this country, Congo, Rongo, who will develop her? Nigerians, let us do the needful. Come 2023, let us vote wisely and smartly. Hmm? Let us vote wisely and smartly. Let us vote wisely and smartly. Ogaya, the leader of those field party APC that has ruined the nation, what next is your promise? And you know, for APC, I am of the opinion that you see APC because APC they're the ones that number one their field, number two. Number one, they are fields, number two, they have actually depicted a Muslim Muslim ticket, you know, and they gave their presidential ticket to a presidential Presidential, um, sh they gave their was was a court. They gave their ticket to somebody who is frail, somebody who is fragile. If you ask me, to not be that it was supposed to be sounding like this. You're supposed to be pleading with Nigerians and begging us not to be offended. But alas, uh -huh, I don't think that will happen in a million years. Hmm? Well. Somebody said, or not even somebody, a lot of people have been saying 2023 will be a year we are going to know those who are selling this country and those who are not. Nigerians, once again, do not vote based on sentiment. Do not vote based on sentiment. It is going to be a calamity. Do not vote based on, he's a member of my fate. At the end of the day, All right. Okay. Um. And the thing is, one thing that amuses me most for uh, for the all progressive con I mean, the all progressive Congress is the way they come out and they say these things that like as if they have got nothing to lose, as in they are confident. But Nigerians come to it to be free. The ball is in the court. We decide to give it to whoever or whomever we want to. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.